Okay, number six. The architect has just finished a new affordable housing multifamily project. It is the first project they have done with a new team of engineering consultants. There is a distinct possibility that there could be more projects in the pipeline with this developer. It would be wise to do which of the following with the new team. Choose three again. Uh, so the answers here are going to be the ones like what are going to be the ways that we can see what went well, what didn't go well, and what we can make better for the next round? How can we sharpen it up so we use our recent experience as a team to uh, tell us about the future uh, projects that we're going to go forward with? Because we want to be able to not only resubmit with this developer and say, yes, you know, hire us again, but we want to say, and not only hire us again, but we learned a couple of lessons about how this project could go better uh, so that they know that we're on it and we're kind of uh, finding the best possible way uh, to, to make these projects work. So the first one is going to be uh, review the quality assurance plan. Now, a lot of firms don't actually have a quality assurance plan, but you should. And this is one of those things NCARB and AIA are going to always say, you should have a written plan for how you assure quality on your projects. So uh, what does that mean? It means you've just got a sort of checklist. Like, uh, uh, you know, did we make sure that, you know, did we review uh, the code compliance? Did we review the egress? Did we review the budgeting? Did we review, you know, like, did we go through it? Does it play out the way that it's supposed to? Does the program that was originally written at the beginning of the project actually still function now at the end of the project? And if it doesn't, there are other reasons why it doesn't. So like, it's okay if things have moved on, but you want to make sure they haven't slipped on or crept on in a way that's not meant to be. So quality assurance is having a plan for how you review all of those things and really checking, uh, checking the work before it goes out so you find any mistakes or problems before it starts going to permit or to all of that. Uh, uh, you're talking about a team here. So you've got a bunch of consultants. Well, a huge part of any situation, especially for NCARB, the way they think about things, is going to be the communication. And this is, I can say, uh, myself as well. Uh, every time we have a new set of uh, team people, uh, it's always about finding a communication system that works. So C is going to be another, uh, another big one. Um, a, reviewing the payout system. Uh, payout just means that during construction, there's a certain process of how the contractors get paid. That doesn't really have anything to do with this question. It's not a bad thing to know about or have opinions on, but it's just not a reasonable answer. Uh, sign new contracts, but you know, of course you're going to sign new, new contracts. That's not really, uh, you know, if you're doing a new project, you're going to have new contracts. Uh, it's, not, it's not really what the question is about. Uh, reviewing engineering options, you don't have the project yet, so you don't even really know from the client exactly what that would be. So that's not really possible. So the third answer here is have a third party review the work quality. Uh, now, third party is in quotes because sometimes that means third party like inside the office. So like maybe you've been working on projects with uh, three or four other people, and then there's somebody who works on a different kind of project will take the set for you know uh, uh, three days and just go through everything and see if it makes sense and find help find mistakes. And the point of that is a different set of eyes, a new fresh set of eyes looks at it. Or it might be an outside party that we actually pay an architect or uh, uh, estimator or uh, uh, engineer to take the drawings and review through all the, all the drawings and just have a dis different set of eyes, have a knowledge base that's a different knowledge base to make sure that our, we're meeting the quality that we think we are by getting these sort of multiple views. Uh, the NCARB questions are big fans communication, big fans of third-party reviews, and big fans of assurance, quality assurance plans. Those are bound to come up somewhere, so you should really have a feel for those.